This paper by Quattlebar et al. summarized the evidence for immobilization duration and the need for physical therapy after surgically treated distal radius fractures. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Distal radius fractures are one of the most common forms of fractures in the upper limb due to a rising elderly population. The fractures in elderly are often associated with poor bone quality and osteoporosis. In 1989, Lafontaine identified five predictors for future radiocarpal joint instability. The factors were an age of 60 or more, a dorsal angulation of more than 20 degrees, dorsal comminution, fracture extension into the radiocarpal joint and an associated ulnar fracture. These patients required surgical intervention. A recent meta-analysis by Song et al. showed that surgical intervention resulted in superior radiological outcomes compared to conservative, yet not superior functional outcomes. This review aimed to shed light on immobilization periods and the need of post-op therapeutic interventions. At first, the authors argued that a loss of reduction is unlikely to be prevented by immobilization while active finger flexion remains possible. This is due to the large forces on the radius associated with such movements. Adding to this, several studies exist that show that the locking plates provide enough stability for the wrist to allow early mobilization. However, no consensus exists on the use of immobilization or the duration, if need be, after a surgical intervention. Clinical studies of conservatively treated fractures in the wrist show superior early outcomes with shorter immobilization periods of three instead of five weeks. Few RCTs exist that compare different immobilization durations. The studies are difficult to compare due to the difference in durations ranging from no cast to cast for six weeks. However, the general idea is that there is not really much of a difference. Shorter immobilization periods benefit the patient by better outcomes in the short term, but this effect washes out after about three months. This is nice, right? But what about physical therapy? Are we at all necessary for these patients? Most studies show no conclusive evidence for superiority of physical therapy compared to a home exercise program. Some studies even suggest inferiority of physical therapy. But let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Several issues exist with these trials and more research is definitely needed. But why could this be the case, you think? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Max for PhysioTutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.